Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball. First edition two-box picker team number three with a free box giveaway. If you follow the instructions there, which I hope you have for a chance. There's the final printout right there. If you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the team random, that big team random that filled up three of these breaks. This is the third right here. Ryan Heinz, uh, Mariners Royals. Mariners Royals double last spot mojo. All right, so let's pop this open. <laughs> it probably will. I think he's good for one one IL stint a season. Kershaw with that that wonky back of his. So now that Dansby has been has uh, has landed with the Cubs, I guess what else what else is happening there? Uh, it should be on the site. Oh, hold on. Let me. Nick, I need that on the side. Nick keeps taking it down. Um, No, well, now I'm curious, too. All right, so if you... I, I just brought it back on the site. If you go to... If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the, the World Cup promo details there. So if the team... if uh, And I think the World Cup promo tab is still there so if you the team that won the world cup you win a case of uh 2021 22 tops you i'm gonna send i'm gonna set up all this stuff tomorrow but we'll win a case of merlin chrome wow tops uefa champions league merlin chrome soccer a 12 box sealed case it's a three thousand dollar value so Argentina won. So let me go to the promo list. Wow, Matt Bristow with Argentina won that. I got to look up. Uh, oh, the gold, the player who won the golden boot was actually with Mbappe's impressive performance today. He actually won the golden boot with his hat trick. So he surpassed Lionel Messi. So if you have that, that which is France, you will win a 21-22 Tops Finest UEFA Champions League sock. So, uh, Finest Champions League. Eight box case sealed. That's a $1,600 value. The um, Merlin Chrome is a $3,000 value. 
So that winner is, that's you, Chad Cromwell, France. So we're gonna have that case. Some point this week, we'll have a case of finest shipping out to you. If your team scores the least amount of goals during the group stage, I don't, I have to look up the standings. That's probably Morocco, right? There actually might be some ties. But if there's a tie, it says in the description, if there's a tie in any of the prize bounties, it'll be randomized between the ties. Oh, it might have been Morocco, Saudi Arabia, might be a few teams. But whoever wins that randomizer will win 2022 Leaf Pro Set Soccer 10 box case. That's an $1,100 value. If your team's the runner up in the World Cup, second place, wow, look at you, Chad. You'll win two eight box cases of 2022 finest Bundesliga soccer. That's a total $1,100 value. That's uh, the German soccer league. And then we'll work on this too. Every team will get a box of 2021 Mosaic Euro Hobby Edition, which is about $100 value. We'll start shipping those out as well. So I'll, I'll run all that randomizer and gather up all the cases and organize them all together in the next day or two. And I hope we have all of those cases. Now that I think about it. Oh, you just must have missed me talking about it. Finest Bundesliga. Bundesliga is the German soccer league. Pete Hansen to 150. That will be for the Cardinal. That's for Travis. Jose Salas to 50. That will be for the Marlins. CC and Elijah Green. Brian won that. So that's kind of an underrated set because a lot of times, I mean, that, that year might have... Might have to double check the checklist, but that particular year might should still have um, Jude Bellingham for uh, for Borussia Dortmund, one of their soccer teams here. And Jude Bell Bellingham is the English midfielder that really impressed for England this World Cup, and he's widely expected to make the move. Ooh, out of five, like I like that to make the move to the English Premier League. This is nice. Five out of five, first, first, Jacob uh, Misurioski. A second round pick. Not bad. Brew Crew, that's Mark and the Brewers. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Drew Gilbert, 3 out of 25. That'll be for the Strohs. That'll be for Aaron. Yeah, Justin Turner earlier today, Rex, did indeed sign with the Bo Sox. A year and an option, I want to say. Something like that. I think the Dodgers definitely wanted to, to bring him back. But if the market was a little... It was a little softer, but it ended up being a little hotter than, than they or even I expected. My guess is he's a little on the, definitely on the older side, but a year, it's not really a huge uh, commitment, obviously. And at that contract, they can just outright release him if, if he just wasn't very good. But if you can bring it back to the second half of last season be a pretty effective right-handed bat in that lineup. I'm going to miss that guy, but I got a feeling. I mean, he's from Southern California. He's from Long Beach. He grew up watching the Dodgers and saw the Kirk Gibson World Series home run from his grandma's house in 88. And so he's definitely a Dodger guy, but he understands the business. I think he'll he has a good chance of him going into coaching. After he hangs it up, 49 out of 150. Gavin Cross, Kansas City, Ryan Hines. That makes me think that uh, makes me think that he'll probably be back. I wouldn't be surprised if he's back as a Dodger bench coach or something like that, and his work his way around the minors or something, trying to you know manage a single A team or something like that. Work his way up. Leonardo Balcazar to 75. Yeah, 
Hi, Oliver. Yeah, basically we traded JT for uh, for JD. JD. But, yeah, my heart's heavy too, but I, I'm pretty sure that he's... I feel like I ran into an interview somewhere. And Tamar Johnson, that's a nice one, Ed of the Padres. I feel like he's expressed an interest... Or someone has said, yeah, JT's really interested in, in, in coaching and once it, once his career is over, which sad to say it almost is, so you know, if, if the you know, if the Red Sox can catch lightning in a bottle, great. I'm assuming they're gonna call up a lot more youngsters. So I'll bet they'll have some youngsters that need a little tutelage, you know. And could learn a lot from Justin Turner. He's reunited with Kike and uh, and Alex Verdugo, so that's got to be fun. But yeah, I can't imagine with him. I mean, home is still in Southern California for him. Yeah, and I really can't imagine that once he hangs it up, if he wants to, you know. Oh yeah, that's right. Kenley's there too. That's that's another reason why he probably went. I'm, I'm sure he had some options. I think the Marlins were going after him too. I wouldn't be surprised if the Marlins added added a few a few million bucks. I wouldn't be surprised if a, another team basically added a few million bucks and was like, "Hey, you want to come here for a year?" And he was like, "Nah, <laughs> I'll take three million less to go play with Kenley and and Kike and and Verdugo." Is Jeter down still on that team? That was the one of the bigger parts of that bets trade, wasn't it? I'm sure you ran into Jeter Downs like in spring training and stuff over the years with the Dodgers. Although I want to say Jeter Downs released or traded or something like that, which makes that Mookie Betts trade. Right, he was DFA. Now, yeah. Okay, yeah, that started to jog my memory a little bit. So it's just Verdugo and Kike for, for bets, basically? Where there was, who else was involved in that deal? Jeter Downs was supposed to be the centerpiece of that deal. I mean, he was supposed to be the guy that filled in Xander Bogart's spot, basically. In the, in the, in the event that Xander Bogart left, and he did. Ooh, want to go to... Oh, nice. You're in Boston after Cooper's going to go visit Dodgers East. Dodgers East. Yeah. Do the Dodgers play in Boston? Because now we... Uh, Gabe Gilo and I were talking about this a little bit earlier, where now that the schedule is supposed to be a lot more balanced, if not completely balanced, everyone should see each other at least once. Second box, we're gonna have, we have Adam Mazur to seventy-five. Oh, I see. Socks will socks will end up here. So, like next year, does that mean the Dodgers will be in Boston? Is is that how they're gonna do it, or is it not? Or have I oversimplified that? Some of you may not know that this, the baseball schedule up until maybe 10, 15 years ago was done by a husband and wife team by hand. There has to, I think there's like a ESPN 30 for 30 or something like that. So it's, uh, it's worth watching. It's fascinating. You'll be shocked at how long Major League Baseball did it that way. There's Sal Stewart to 150. Just like how the only acceptable mud that you can use 
to mud up a ball. Like umpires will mud up a ball before the game so they're not super slick. The only approved mud, I think, is, al is also from like some riverbank uh, in Maryland or something like that somewhere, or in Jersey or something like that. And there's like another small family. Or is it, Miss is it Mississippi? Mississippi mud, maybe? I don't remember exactly, but yeah, that mud is only from, you know, is only from a certain part of the world, certain part of the United States, where that's the best mud. And a family has owned that mud property and has been, you know, giving Major League Baseball X ton of mud every season for them to use throughout the year. That's where they're sourced. And I think that still exists. I think no, no composite, no synthetic compound, no artificial compound, no other mud in any part of the country has, uh, has, has been just right. What else do I have for you? Uh, oh, I read another article recently. Those two other stories I think are older, but a recent article, um, a invasive beetle, uh, the, the bug, not the band, uh, that's for the pirates, Chris Butler, has been eating ash, all American ash, across the country. Bats are no longer made with ash. They used to be one of the most popular pieces of wood to use for a baseball bat. The ash bat uh, is, I almost want to say non-existent in baseball. I also think that's also combined with uh, trends. Like I think ball players have started to gravitate away from the ash bat. And now even if they wanted it, they can't have it because uh, the, the ash, at least for, uh, I mean, I think there's still ash trees, but I think most of them are, are uh, infested with these bugs that renders the wood unusable for wood purposes. Look up that story. It's a good story. If you like baseball and if you like carpentry, wood. Jackson Job for the Tiger, Stephen K. Ooh, and, and the rare autograph. Wow, Jackson Holiday. Chris Butler and the Orioles refractor autograph. His first first. 149 out of 499. First first on card Jackson Holiday autograph. All right. Dad, Matt Holiday. And the number one overall pick. There it is. There he is, Chris Butler. Congrats, man. Now, this guy just has to crush it. Is he out of high school or college? Looks like he might have been out of high school. So it might take him an extra year or two, but keep an eye on him. All right, let's flip back to this list right here. That's the break, friends. What a way to end it. So let's flip back here. Now let's gather everybody's names. Let's uh, sort them by A, column A. So we bought at least two, like Alex did. You get an entry for a chance at a sealed box of this. Chris Butler won two teams. That's still an entry. CC got two. That's an entry. Ed got three, two counts, an entry. Mark got six. That's three entries. Michael won two spots, that's an entry. Michael P got two spots, that's an entry. Ryan Heinz, you got three, but for the purpose of the promo, two teams, one entry. Travis, two teams, one entry. Let's just allow aluminum and cork bat. I mean, that'd be kind of like watching college baseball. They still use aluminum bats there. I don't know, at the rate that baseball players throw and hit, that would be... Aluminum bats might actually be dangerous. Chad, Chris, CC, Ed, Mark, Michael, Michael. Make sure I didn't miss anybody here. All right, I think I got everybody. All 
All right, let's uh, roll some live dice. One and a four, five times. Name on top after five. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Michael F. There you go, Michael. I don't know if I called your number all break, but a sealed box going your way. Maybe I mean, it could be a Jackson Holiday in there as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.